Shut up and sit down. It's stressful to the point where, I mean, you want to, you always want to just be perfect and get everything done. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as as far as I'm concerned, uh, the you just want to show you just want to show everybody you can play you can play any position you can you can move and uh, you just you just look good. You know, so you just want to look good out here. So that's the biggest thing. I thought that I just wanted to come out here and run fluid routes. You know, and um, being a you know the combine. I don't really know if, you know, you get to see what a guy's true route running is like. So, um, you know, I thought I had a, had a great day out here. Uh, I felt great. Uh, I feel comfortable. Uh, I felt light and, uh, you know, getting in and out of my break. So, um, overall, it was a great day. It's beautiful out today. So, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, I accomplished what I wanted to get done. Yeah, um, I haven't been here in a long time, so it felt good to move around. Um, wasn't wasn't where I wanted to be, you know what I mean? But I definitely want to showcase that like there's nothing wrong with the knee. I just got to get my conditioning up, and you know get back in the flow and really get in football shape. That's that's really what it. That's kind of the fun point part of this injury is now I'm over the rehab. I'm cleared to be a pedestrian, but now I got to move to an NFL football player. So it's making that transition. So what lateral was the last clearance you had to have? So lateral movement. Correct, correct. So I got cleared to do lateral movement um, last week Monday. So I think that was the eighth, I think March eighth or something like that. So I just got cleared last week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim says you're not quite at 100 percent yet. Do you have a percentage on it? Yeah, I'd say about 80. I mean, honestly, like I felt good enough to come out and show that I can move around. There's nothing I'm hiding or anything. Um, just really wanted to make that apparent that there's nothing wrong with the knee or anything, and just just show. But it's, it's going to take time. I mean, like I said, I got cleared to be a pedestrian. Now I got to be a football player. So that's going to take weeks and weeks of training, which is fine, um, and I'll get there not a problem. Uh, I'll tell you what, for me though, uh, being a, a college coach, watching young men you recruited get a chance to come out here in front of NFL players far surpasses the excitement of coming to a pro day as a, as a pro evaluator. It's, a, it's fun to watch these kids get a chance to realize their dream and you just pull for them, it gives you goosebumps, it really does. It's, it's something special. Did you talk to them beforehand of, of what to be thinking when they're out here and themselves. You know, we start that conversation with them the day they walk on campus, you know, and everything we do here is geared towards making sure that they can play well on Saturdays so they have a plan chance to play well on Sundays. And that's from film study to analyzing their opponents to taking notes to uh, how they address people and coaches and, 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 you know, work ethic and mindset. And that just starts day one. So by the time they get to this point where they are in front of the NFL evaluators, they have a great feel for what it's going to take. We put them through, you know, three pro days on their own uh, before they're even, you know, draft eligible. So they have a great feel for what to do. How you doing? It's Eric Hendricks. You're watching the FI 360 News.